So I'm a big fan of roasting people and I'm a very big fan of using the uh meme sound. I'm very much a big fan of it. I actually use it a lot. <laughs> Then get out. Are you gonna do it? <laughs> there was a point I was so obsessed with saying oh that I would say it when something really good happened, obviously, or I would say it when someone tried insulting me and the insult was really, really, really bad. Oh! Do you see that? Oh my god! You're real bad. Yeah. That was your roast? Um, uh, <laughs> Just kidding! That was such a good roast! I am never coming back from that one ever again. That was so good. Roast master goes to you. So good. There was even a point that I said it so much that it annoyed myself. So I kind of stopped. I don't say it as much as I used to, but I still say it a pretty good amount. But when I was into roasting and saying the oh so much, I was kind of an expert at roasting people. So I will use my expertise from the past today and I will show you how to roast someone. First of all, you need to know what roasting is. Roasting is when you insult someone, but too unextreme. Extreme. And sometimes the insulting or roasting is so bad that it ruins someone's career. If you don't know what that means, this is pretty much what it means. It means you insult someone so bad that they can't show their face around your school or your town ever again because they got insulted so hard. That's what I'll be trying to teach you today. Let's get into it. Tip one, you can compare them to something. Comparing people to things that are really bad goes a pretty long way, especially if you're comparing something that's really, really bad to another person and that person doesn't like being compared to that. Does that make sense? The more you compare someone to a worse thing, the better. This is how it would go if you were comparing someone to something that was not really bad, but not really good either. You and my garbage can have a lot in common. Excuse me? Did you just say, wow. Yeah, I said it. And this is what would happen if you were insulting someone or comparing someone to something that's even worse. You know, you're just like my garbage toter. What the heck even is a garbage toter? That. Oh. I think you guys are so alike. You should go hug it. You know what? Maybe I will hug it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to go hug it. What? Where did she go? Tip two, use similes. When I say use similes, I mean use words like like and as. I don't actually mean use similes. That, that would be weird. Also, how would you even insult someone through similes? How would that work? Your eyes are as brown as poop. It's amazing. My eyes are blue for your own kind of information. Oh, sorry. Tip three, use like and as, but not as similes. Okay, not similes. I just mean use the words like and use the words as, like in the sentence you're trying to insult someone with, like this. You know what you do? You look like a donkey, huh? Yeah, you look like a donkey and you act like a donkey. Hey, you're as green as a generator. That does not even make sense. So I didn't actually mean that you're as green as a generator. What I meant to say is uh, you're as green as a dollar. I'm not wearing any green. And also that doesn't make any sense either. You're right. It doesn't even make sense. But it does make dollars. So that's what I mean as use similes, not actually use them. Just use the words like and as. All right, next. Tip four. You remind me of... This one's actually really good because you can say that someone reminds you of something that's really bad. Works pretty well. And if you say that they remind you of someone that's bad or something bad, it's even better because it's more offensive. But again, nothing too offensive because no, no. You remind me a lot of ABC gum. What is, what is ABC gum? Your face. What the heck is ABC gum? ABC gum stands for already been chewed gum. Already been chewed gum? 
never heard that before so yeah that was four tips on how to insult someone or roast someone again don't start the fight only end it so if someone tries to insult you only use these tips if someone's trying to insult you first never start the fight only end it anyway i hope you did enjoy watching this video because i absolutely loved making it make sure to give this video a fat thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because my next goal is 150 and i'm at 104. i have a very long way to go but i'm so happy that i got to 104. Thank you so much. Have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.